Hello. I managed to get on live exactly like 15 seconds early just for Dustin. And I'm currently sticking a cough drop in my mouth in hopes that I won't have to mute the microphone as often as my voice slowly comes back. So forgive any cough drop in my mouth sounds, please. How is everybody today? Hello, hello. I did not plan this one in advance, so I'm sorry for short notice. But I got my Witch's Roots box in the mail today and I was like, I want to unbox it and I don't want to wait and I don't want to try to film and, and edit. Gratification. Instant gratification. Also, I got Peggy a shallow, um, what do you call that? Oh, a cast iron wok as a birthmas Chris Day present kind of thing. <laughs> and it was the best gift I think I've ever given her because she just made me a delicious dinner in it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> See, I'm still going to cough. Who am I joking? Who am I kidding? I can't even talk right. Hello, Arlene. Hello, Dustin. Hi, Seer of the Sacred Path. Look, I have my super discreet packaging. Woohoo! I'm really excited about this month's box because they, what the Witch's Moon does is they send a little thing up ahead of time and they're like, this is going to be the theme for the upcoming box. And they announced that this one was going to be a sacred goddess theme. And I was like, yes, I am all about that. I'm really excited. So, yeah. Plus, it's like the holiday week for a lot of people. And we are just sort of hanging out. No one will ever know you're a witch. Well, I mean, except for that the label says candle, stone, incense, oil, herb, artwork. I mean, if you know what witches are into, you could probably put two and two together. But that's just a customs form. If you're a local in the U.S., nobody would ever know. Actually, who does it say it's from? I never checked that. W Moon Shop is who it's from. So, yeah, it's, it's fairly discreet. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Michelle. Where are you, puppy? Yeah, Hi, Claire. <laughs> Excuse me. I will mute some of my coughs, but if I try to do them hey, all. Oh, Doggo's getting dinner right now. So, Peggy's in the background trying to get the girl dog to eat. So that'll be good. Anyway, I'm very excited to see what's in this month's box. So, yeah. I don't know how long I'll be on. We'll see how my voice does. It's been kind of come and go. Come and go. Okay, you're done then. But I didn't talk a lot today. So I feel like. Anyway. What's that? But it's not dinner time yet. She's not that hungry. Oh, Doggo's not eating yet. She's like, no. Mm -hmm. She is. She's a token. Also, me with a sharp knife again. I just want to get the outer wrapping off. I have so many unboxings and videos I want to make right now, and it's so hard for me to sit down and film because I have to cough every couple of minutes still, and it's like I don't want to edit. I don't, I don't, I don't edit a lot it normally. Like normally, hi Christina, hi Lucy. Normally, my videos are pretty much one take and go, so this is really throwing me for a bit of a loop. And the last video I made, I did have to edit, and I felt like I had to put in like twenty jump cuts, and it's just not. It just felt really unnatural for my normal style, and I'm just complaining. Thank you for listening to me complain, everybody. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Come to the Lisa Complaining Show. But no, seriously, I'm so over this. But look at the box. It's so pretty. Oh, my God, this one smells really good. It smells like softly floral, almost like um. it almost smells like... I want to say like, you know, it, I want to, I know what the reference is, but I want to say it. Oh, thanks, Dustin. <laughs> I want to say it. Um, I mean it in a nice way, but it reminds me of kind of like, like a grandma's bedroom or something like in a nice way, like in a soft way. Like it's, it's like kind of maybe grandma's bedroom is like the wrong. I don't know how to describe it anyway. Okay. I'm sure we don't have smell of vision, but it smells really soft and comforting and floral, but not like, it doesn't smell like musk or anything like jasmine -y or rose or anything really like more, you know, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'll eventually open the box and then we'll find out what it is I'm smelling and this will all make more sense. Yeah, Dustin says, I just need to find time to film. I know. I did my first sewing projects this past month. I have been doing a little bit of sewing because it doesn't matter if I cough while I'm sewing. Um, and yeah, I probably could film and just still cough a bit, but when I have the like coughing fits or when I have to cough really loud, that's when it's like, uh, 
I've gone through so many of these Ricolas. These are like, I never glided you. Oh, I was like, it wasn't me. I, did, I glided you back. Oh, I just bit my cough drop because I got surprised. <laughs> he was talking to Brant. <laughs> Hi, Brant. Um, what's intense, Lucy? The unboxing or me trying to describe the smell? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna open the top since we've got. I think we've got it. I've I've I've, I've rambled for a few minutes. Ricola, oh my god, those commercials were the best. They were the best with like the men on the hill and like the really long horns. What are those things called? Um, yeah. Anyway, there. I was gonna say didgeridoo, but that's totally wrong. That's like an Australian thing. Anyway, those are the only cough drops I've ever been able to handle. Hello, the tarot magician. <sighs> okay. I feel like I can talk for a couple seconds without coughing. So, oh my God, it smells so good. I can't stop smelling the box. Okay. Ooh, Brent's gonna glide Dustin after his shower. I'm just teasing. I don't know why I'm saying it in that weird voice. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I like to turn the artwork upside down and get it out of the way so I don't get spoiled because that's how I roll. We have a parchment. Loud cough over. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to like keep an eye on the comments. Hi, fairy goddess. Oh, welcome. I love making videos, and it's actually been kind of kicking my butt that I have I haven't been able to make as many. Thank goodness. I mean, it probably doesn't seem like that to you guys because I had my 21 days of Yule and it just wrapped up like this last weekend, but I pre-filmed those. So there were actually a lot more gaps in my usual like filming as I go kind of schedule than it definitely than it looked like. But I'm hoping to be better enough to start filming for 31 days of tarot, which I would really like to do in January. Brand, literally every time I glide him either in the car or about to shower. <laughs> I got I, I glided Dustin from a from a bubble bath once and he was all weirded out. I don't know why. I didn't show him anything. Hi. I okay, I'm gonna mess up your name. Ivy? Is it is it Ivy? It almost looks like an Ivy. But hello. Hi, Whale Song. So this month's theme in the witch's roots is the sacred goddess. Okay, I'm gonna mute so I can call. Okay, there we go. Um, I like to fold my parchment so it doesn't, I can't see what's in the box yet. So, let's see if I can read this and not cough. The symbolism of the goddess resonates deep within our practices and rituals, carrying with it very rooted meanings and resemblances. As we work with the goddess energy, we connect to all things around us on a deeper level, allowing us to truly use our emotions and love for all things to manipulate positive growth in every aspect of our existence. These sacred energies are created to assist us in becoming wiser and more in tune when working to make better decisions in our day-to-day -day lives, ultimately elevating us to a higher plane of being. We've created and sourced the items within this collection to bring you closer to the sacred goddess energy so that you too may walk a more vibrant and beautiful path. Yay! It is Ivy, but in Spanish? Did I pronounce it right, though? Is it pronounced Ivy, or is it... I think that's... Because the Y is... In Spanish, the Y is a yes sound a lot of times. Right? I think that's such a pretty name. 41 days now, wasn't it 31? No, no, I said 31. I might have, at least I think I said 31, but also my voice. So there's that. Hello, Maurice. I am not doing readings tonight, although I am long overdue for a free live reading session with Peggy. We do um, we do free live readings um, called Tag Team Tarot. So if you watch my channel for hashtag Tag Team Tarot, You'll be able to catch us on one of those, but we probably won't be doing any more of those for a little while yet. Oh, it's more Evie. Oh, that makes sense. Gotta love the easy mute button on StreamYard so that I can actually cough. Um, but yeah, you can also book um, a reading with me on my website, which is like down below if you're interested, Maurice. But I am unboxing the Witch's Roots box. Anyways, that's our little intro parchment. I'm going to stash the artwork over here upside down. We have this nice brown paper. Everything's backwards. Like, like this is my right hand, and it probably looks right to you guys, but it's, like, backwards to me. You know what I mean? Anyway. Oh, I dropped some more meat. Oh, my God, that smell is even stronger now. 
Oh, I can't place it, but it smells good. It's almost like it's like an, an innocent or an innocenter. That's not a good that's not a word, Lisa. I've been saying the weirdest words lately. A more innocent, sweet, naive kind of scent. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the kind of scent I like. Like I don't tend to wear a lot of very um like when I'm talking about fragrances I like to wear, I tend to wear like sweeter, younger like little girl kind of fragrances, which I'm sure nobody is surprised by. But I like things with a little bit of vanilla. I like things with a little bit of like that, almost like baby powder, like light sort of. Anyway, I'm really obsessed with the smell in here because I keep talking about it. Hi, Bar. <laughs> Excuse me. You know when you're like, when you have a cough drop in your mouth and you like put it in your cheek and then you go to move it and it's like stuck? I know nobody really needed to know that, but. <laughs> That's what I keep experiencing. <laughs> it's not good times. Look at the blue in here. I'm extra excited that I chose an ocean goddessy um, artwork for the thumbnail for this video, which may not even be showing yet. Sometimes YouTube like doesn't show it right away. But anyways, I very much associate the goddess with the sea. That's very much related to my relationship with goddess. So the blue makes me happy in here. Hi, Caroline. So, this look at how nicely. Okay, so this comes all the way from, I think, California to Canada. I'm in the BC area. Hi, Barry. Hi, Molly. Peggy's in the background. I think she's cooking or doing dishes or something. She's tidying up. <laughs> anyway, so while she's doing that, I'm, I'm doing this unboxing. I think I need to also have a sip of my Mountain Dew. <laughs> You know what's the greatest like betrayal? It's not the same anymore. Now it's now it's got caffeine, but for a long time, Mountain Dew in Canada didn't have caffeine because there was like some law or something that like clear beverages, like not brown colas or whatever, couldn't have caffeine in them. And so like I was like, what's the point of Mountain Dew if there's no caffeine? I was I felt very betrayed. Not as betrayed as when I found out that KFC up here didn't have biscuits, but I still felt pretty betrayed. I'm a little all over the place and a little overtired. Is it showing? <laughs> Is it showing? Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about mint with my Mountain Dew, but whatever, I'll take it. Throat is less dry. Let's look at the candle. Let's start there. Oh, it looks like it's purple. I don't know how well the color's going to show up. It's going to probably look... This um, lighting, because I'm in front of my laptop, makes everything look a little bit bluer, like, like lighter, whiter. You know what I mean. What do you mean Mountain Dew has caffeine now? Now it does. It does now. Yeah, Barb. If you, but it lists it like a dosage on the bottle. It used to be illegal for Mountain Dew. Yep. And clear I can't. I don't have my reading caffeine. glasses, so I can't read it. But it says, it says it on the label. It's like a. It's listed as like a dosage of caffeine. But when I first came to Canada, the bottle could all, the Mountain Dew regular Mountain Dew had no caffeine. And then there was a type of Mountain Dew that said something like Mountain Dew Volt or Charge or something. Yeah, and that had one had drink. caffeine. This one has caffeine. Doesn't this one have caffeine now? Huh? Am I making this up? I can't see it because I don't have my reading glasses. Uh, they might not all have caffeine up here. I'm about to be upset if this has no caffeine. Some do, some don't, I think. Can I borrow your readers? No. Let's see. I think it's right here on the label. Now I need to know. Sorry. Now you need glasses. I'm a squirrel. My glasses are with my sewing stuff. It has 77 grams of sugar in it. Well, we don't need to know that part. <laughs> Mountain Dew's always had caffeine in the States, but in Canada, it didn't have caffeine because anything that wasn't I like... I cannot read that. Skinny that's why I asked to borrow your glasses because my vision's better than yours, silly. Yeah, we're both blind old bad. It's fine. Well, no, you're a blind old bad. I'm a... Partially blind old bat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Can, can I borrow your readers now? I can them, how am I going to get Please? around? I'll give them right back. Hug. Okay, I'll be able to see. Contains. No. Wait, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I'm really determined it's, now. It's, it's badly, it's a badly stamped thing. It is badly stamped. Okay, it's not just our eyes then? No. Oh. It's a combo effect. Whoa. 
This is really bugging me. Oh, it's because it's got a giveaway or something. And so it's all the information about the Dean giveaway. I want to know if this has caffeine in it. Carbonated water, glucose, fructose. I don't think this one has any caffeine. Oh, yeah, caffeine. There it is. Okay, cute. I feel better. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. I really had to solve that problem. <laughs> Lisa, tell Peggy I was up last night watching the History Channel on the Oracle of Delphi. That's what Caroline nice. said. Nice. She put up her five questions today. Yeah, questions are the five questions. Um, well, Erica, you've missed me squirreling about whether or not my Mountain Dew contained caffeine, and I've started to open a candle but got distracted by the Mountain Dew conversation. <laughs> I'm basically, um, I'm, I, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, so I'm in fine form. I'm a little bit all over the place. So, but yeah, and this the theme is the sacred goddess. I've I've shown that and read the little intro bit, and now I'm trying to take this paper off of my candle, and I'm struggling just like I did in my witch's bounty box for some reason. Got it. Try not to be alarmed about me holding a knife. I think Dustin fell asleep now. Or he's crafting and watching. Sometimes he crafts and watch. Dustin makes beautiful handmade tarot boxes. And often he's entertaining himself by gliding or watching YouTube while he's making stuff. This smells like the rest of the box, which is that like really soft sort of, I'm not going to try to keep describing it. That's the other thing I scrolled out on is trying to describe the scent of the whole box. Anyway, it's actually a really pretty light lavender. I don't know if my monitor is making it look really washed out and blue, but it's very pretty. Like, can I color correct with something else? No. Oh, wait, I have a mouse pad. That makes it look a little bit more purple, right? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to try too hard. <laughs> Aha! Setting up a new watercolor palette. I knew he was doing something artsy or crafty. That's what Dustin does. He does art. <laughs> Surprise cough. That's not okay. Um, He's often doing crafty things. Lisa, don't read the labels. Then you'll just think it has caffeine and get the boost. Yes! Because placebo effects are a thing. Yep. Yeah, Dustin playing with paints is also extremely relaxing. He has a swatch video. Sorry, I'm just going to randomly talk about Dustin's channel now. But he has a swatch video on his channel where he's swatching all the colors in a new watercolor palette. And it is so relaxing. It's like visual ASMR. I just love it. I've said that before. But anyway, I better mute so I can clear my... Aha, and Tammy is crocheting. Okay, let's just grab another thingy out of the box. And I have... This looks like a dropper, so I'm guessing we're getting a ritual body oil in this month's box. So glass dropper, that's great. That will come in handy momentarily. I'm sure I can see the herbs, so I'm going to pull that out. I wonder if that's where the smell is coming from. I just tried to smell the plastic. Okay, the plastic smells like the smell of the rest of the box. And this month's herb is passion flower. What do you need? Oh, hi. Are you going to focus, camera? Hello? There we go. And look at how they're like now they're printing. They're now printing the name of the herb at the top as well as writing it in their fancy writing. So you can see passion flower here and then it's also written in their fancy script, which I think is really, really cool. And the doggos are trying to wrestle now. Hi guys. Are you, are you ready to go outside? Oh, they're going outside. It's are you enjoying yourself? Absolutely. Peggy's got this like like bratty look on her face, like, oh, I made the dog's bark on your life. I just asked what they wanted to go out. Oh. Go <laughs> now I'm being a brat. Now you're being a brat. This does not smell like the rest of the box. So I must be smelling the incense or something else, but this smells very herby. And it's not like flower petals. It's like the herb. It's like the, the herb of passion flower. Interesting. Erica says, just finally finished my January tarot journal and layout. My um, cough drop got stuck again. Anyway, I'm going to pull out the next thing in here, which feels like it's probably our oil. The nice thing about the oils that come in the um, witch's roots, when the rich, when the, the when, <laughs> Peggy's making fun of me. <laughs> Hi, Dylan. When the witch's roots box, um, includes an oil it's often a ritual body oil which doesn't come in any of their other boxes at least not yet they've only included these in their witch's roots box but they're um they're, they have a base of fractionated coconut oil which is actually the base i use for homemade massage oil um and it's a really nice 
body um, oil. It's got fractionated coconut oil. It's liquid at room temperature, unlike regular extra virgin coconut oil, which is solid at room temperature. So it's a wonderful care and it's got there's basically no odor at all. Extra virgin coconut oil has that like coconutty scent, but fractionated coconut oil and watch this be a totally different base now. Yes, I am. Um, so if this is a different base, then I'm going to be embarrassed, but it, it's still good information. But fractionated coconut oil is really great to add essential oils to and make your own scented body oils and massage oils. It's really moisturizing. Um, anyways, I could go on and on and on, but that's what they typically use as their base for these. Anyway, let me, I, I can tell this is going to be a tangent town talking kind of night. Okay, Lisa, I finally got my December moon box today and I'm blown away. I didn't get the moon, I don't get the witch's moon box anymore. And I have major like, sadness about it because I love what they've been doing lately. They've been putting some really beautiful things out there. I just, I can't properly afford to get the witch's moon and the witch's bounty. And thankfully the team at the witch's moon sends me the witch's roots box for review. Um, so I can share it on my channel, but I can only afford to subscribe to one. So I had to give one up, but I had both for a while. I was getting witch's moon and witch's bounty for about I think I had about a three month overlap, if not a four month overlap. Anyway, uh, what did Dustin say? Okay, I don't need to think about you and Peggy rubbing each other down with oil. Why not? What's wrong with that? At least we do that in the living room. I've got a proper massage table, actually. I'm really big on like body care and like yoga and massage and all that kind of stuff being really good for you. Anyways, let me show the oil I've been like waving around. So this one is Sacred Goddess ritual body oil and again they've now they're now typing the name of the of the um oil on the label so you have this really nice handwritten script but then because sometimes that's hard to read they've also printed it which is amazing and this is a really pretty blue bottle so let's see what this one smells like <sighs> oh that smells so good these are not as strong as their anointing oils but they're very well scented. Like there's not like they're weak. Like they don't smell insufficiently fragrant. They smell wonderful and light. And like you could put them all over and not, it wouldn't be too overpowering. It smells really good. Okay. I've got my little dropper. So I'm going to, I can't really show you what's inside here because it's a really dark bottle, but I am going to put a little bit of this on my skin. And I have very sensitive skin. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. I'm going to put some on the other arm. I have really sensitive skin and I've never reacted to um, any of the products I've gotten from the Witch's Moon. And I have put their anointing oils on my body. I have put, um, yeah, I've touched and handled and used all of their products and I've never reacted to anything, which is amazing. It just means they're using high quality products. I think my comments might be scrolling. This smells so good. It's also extremely moisturizing, obviously. Let me scroll down. Aha, I knew it. LOL, Dustin, parents don't have sex. <sighs> yes, they do. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. Anyway. Oh, my God, this smells so good. I have no idea what's in it. Probably passion flower. I don't know. Whale song. Massage therapy can really speed healing from injuries and stimulate your immune system. Your skin is your first line of defense. Absolutely. Your skin is an organ. So taking care of your skin is really important. That oil smells really good. I'm really excited about that. And it's a nice, generous amount, too. Um, lots of herby goodness in there. And there's probably a Lemurian crystal. They put a Lemurian quartz in everything, like in all their oils. Oh, that feels so good on my skin, too. Okay, moving along. I have a pouch. Ooh, and some more wormies I keep throwing everywhere. I like to have Peggy next to me because I love to grab a big handful of these. Oh, you know what? She's outside with the dogs. I'm going to go put a big pile of these herbies. Sorry, you're seeing more background for a second. I'm just going to go put a pile on her on her seat. Because she would be sad if I didn't share my wormies with her. There. There. I put wormies on her, on her chair, on her seat, her part of the couch. Okay. I feel, I feel vindicated. That's not the right word. I feel properly bratty now. Okay, back to, back to showing things. Ooh. This is a little baby crystal. I was just going to smell it. 
the, the stones don't have a smell. Oh, okay. They come in these nice little satin pouches. I love to reuse these as spell bags or mojo bags or whatever you want to call them. Little, little spell pouches to put herbs and crystals. And these are great little sachet pouches too. Put some lavender, tuck it under your pillow, some mugwort for a dream pillow, all that stuff. They're really, really wonderful. Okay. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to mute so I can cough. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this is Lapidolite. Again, we're purple. I love it when the camera actually focuses properly. It's awesome. Come on. You were doing it a second ago. Come on. There we go. Oh, look. So you can actually get quite a bit of detail. And I love the shape of this. It's like a little, like, oval. Oval stone. Yeah. I was just going to try and smell it again. Everything doesn't have a smell, Lisa. Okay, that's really pretty. I like Lapidolite. It is a good one. Ooh, something else in bubble wrap. I feel like there's more stuff in here. Well, let's pull out the incense because that's probably what I've been smelling this whole time. Didn't you just say you didn't have Lapidolite when I showed the batch I got for my store? Did you have raw Lapidolite or did you get polished Lapidolite? Because I have a small piece. I think I have a small piece of polished Lapidolite already. I'd have to check my collection. I may not, but I definitely don't have any raw Lapidolite. So if you showed raw Lapidolite, which I think you did, it looked like it had that almost like shale, like, hi, V-loving crystals. Um, I feel like I, now I'm not sure. I think I have a piece. Yeah, yours was raw. I don't have any raw Lapidolite for sure. So maybe that's what I meant. But I do think I have another small piece of polished. If not, this is my first one. Yay! I need to do a crystal collection video soon. Okay, incense. This is definitely what I've been smelling. It's really nice. I want to look at the paper, but I'm going to wait. But it's really nice. It's obviously much stronger up close. That's definitely what I've been smelling. Okay, there's two more items, which I feel like is one item more than we usually get. We got the oil. We usually get an oil. We got a crystal. We usually get a crystal. We got the incense. We usually get the incense. We got the herb, the candle. So you, there's usually just one more thing, and there's two more things, which is super exciting. But they did that in the December Witch's Moon Box, too. There was a couple of extra items than the normal, like, number of items. Um, how do you like to work with Lapidolite, Tammy? Yeah, I really want to. I've got quite an extensive collection, and I just need to, like, I have actually, bizarrely enough, filmed my crystal collection in this, like, where I spread everything out of my bed and talked about it, but it was literally for me for, like, record-keeping purposes because I regularly try to keep a list of my crystals, but then I lose track of where I've kept the list, and, yeah, it ends up being something I kind of lose track of, so I've recorded it so that I would have a record, um, but, yeah. Gotta love a good coughing fit. Probably my cue to have another sip of something to drink. My floors are never cleaner than when my boys were bored. Are those your children? Your children cleaned their floor, your floors when they were bored? Man, wanna trade? I'm just kidding. I've totally carried crystals in my bra before, Tammy. I've done that. But what, like, what do, you, what does it do for you? Like, what energetic qualities do you appreciate about it? Oh my God, you guys! Oh my God, I am freaking out. I'm gonna show you this. You're gonna die. Okay, well, you might not die, but look at this. So, some of you might remember last year around, I think it was April or May. Um, and if after this live is done, I'll try to remember to link it in the cards or in the description box. But there was an unboxing of a box. Maybe it was actually June, July. Anyway, there was an Aphrodite uh, themed box. And we got a large shell box just like this. Like look at the mother of pearl effect. Oh, I wish my lighting were better. Let's see if I can get it to focus. You can really get the effect. Come on, camera. 
There we go. It's like that mother of pearl with the flash and the reflect. It's a real shell on the top and it opens. It's like, okay, you can focus on me again, camera. Hi, hi. Um, and then it's got a little, vel it's a little velvet box inside here. That is beautiful. Oh, lithium, That and that is a mood stabilizer. Wait, 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 wait. Lipidolite is lithium? Like as in it has lithium as one of its properties? Or like, I need to know more. I mean, I can Google. You don't have to educate me. But if you feel like sharing, um, this is really, really beautiful. I'm like immediately going to put my Lipidolite in here so it doesn't tumble away. Ha, ah, my tumbled stone tumbling away. That would not be good. So these are really, really wonderful. I use my other one for charging items with that sort of oceanic energy. And I do work with um, a representation of goddess that I have a personal relationship with that is very much associated with the sea. So my other box that I got is bigger. And it came with, it does contain lithium naturally. That's so cool. Whale song, yes. It's very like... <sighs> As soon as, for me, as soon as I am working with anything that has this sort of ocean energy, I immediately get that sort of, you know, that feeling when you almost get like a, like a rush of, um, the only way I can think of to describe it, if you're standing on the beach and you get a rush of that fresh beach wind or ocean wind at the same time as you're like at the sea and there's that sort of calming, crashing wave. To me, it's almost like a, a, a kind of like clearing out the cobwebs mentally combined with that soothing, comforting, oceanic kind of energy. So to me, that ocean energy feels like a combination of clarifying and comforting. Yeah, this is really beautiful. But yeah, I probably, oh, you know what? This will probably fit not all but certainly most of my witch's bounty pendants. So I could definitely charge them in this, which would be really, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna put the crystal in it for now. That is stunning. And I'm so excited to have a small one of these in my collection. And you know what else I could do with this? I have a small representation of the ocean goddess that I work with. And I could actually use this as a bit of a, like put together a little bit of a travel altar. Like I could bring this and that mini representation because I also have like a full size, like, statue that I got from the moon market at the witch's moon um that lives on a special altar for this goddess I could um use this smaller shell box and the smaller representation and bring them with me when I travel to have a bit of that portable altar feel so that's really exciting this is probably the most exciting thing I've seen come in the witch's roots box so far as far as your extra item and I love how small and compact this is oh, okay I'm sorry I'm dying a little bit over this and I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'm going to try and bring the top in close so you can see. It's this like really pretty lavender sort of blue purple color. I guess violet is the accurate way to say it. Look at all the detail though. It's really pretty. And it does close like securely. It doesn't. It's like a friction fit. But it's a snug friction fit. Like you need to, you know, gently. But you need to slide it open. And the hinge for mine is on this side rather than just on the like point here so it's a little bit sturdier like obviously an actual shell would open just at this point and so they've they've made this so that it opens just to the size yes it came with um the big one came with a um set of of prayer beads of intention beads so like a, a mala essentially of rose quartz and pearl came in the big one Sorry, Molly says, I get that way around bodies of water, too. It feels homey. Yes, like going to the water is kind of a going home feeling. Absolutely. There is a an old pagan chant um, that goes, we all come from the goddess, and to her we shall return like, drop, like a drop of rain flowing to the ocean. And it is my favorite go-to goddess chant um, to work with. Hello, Viola. So, yeah, this is really exciting. I love this. And anything ocean-related. Um, in fact, there's a pendant I really, really, really want um, from the moon market that um, I haven't bought yet, but I really, I really want it. But it's like a fossilized um, shell and it's gorgeous and I need it, but I haven't, I haven't sprung for it yet. 
That's your favorite goddess chant too, Erica? Synchronicity. Okay, so there's one more item. And there's this really nice little cardboard box in here that looks suspiciously like a jewelry box. This might have a piece of jewelry in it. Oh, the doggos and Peggy are back. Well, hello. Oh, you guys look really happy. Why so happy? Why, why are you looking at me? I have nothing. I have nothing for you. Hi. Hi. Still filming? Yeah. Cool. Hi, guys. Yeah. No, don't bark at me. No. <laughs> I can never see or hear the word waterfalls without singing, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers oh and the lakes God. like you're used to. You I shouldn't okay? try to sing when I'm sick. <laughs> um, right, Molly? Doesn't it take you back? It's been around a long time. <laughs> Bladder is probably empty, which is why he's happy. Good point. Oh yeah. Well, that and Peggy's starting to prep some food for them. It looks like so. Yeah. <gasps> you guys. Yep. Okay. Look at this. It's in a baggie, so I'm gonna pull it out so you can see it. Yeah. Now you want. I'm just like talking away, but my mic is still muted from my coughing fit. <laughs> and then I cough again as soon as I unmute because, welp, that's what happens. Also, thanks, Lucy. I just saw your comment now. I, I figured it out. I was like talking and there's like a big thing that shows up on my screen that literally says you are muted that I didn't pay attention to. And you to. wanted wine tonight. <laughs> I, did, I didn't want wine specifically to drink tonight. I wanted wine for- Yeah, you don't need it. You're already weepy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's like three fat readers all over again. <laughs> By the way, great reminder, actually, Dustin. Why is there garbage on my seat? That's not garbage. Those are beautiful purple garbage. wormies. You love oh, them. Why are worms on my spot? Paper worms. They're lovely, mm -hmm. and you love them, and I wanted to share them with you because I know how much you love them, and I didn't want you to feel left out. I, I'm okay with that. With feeling left out? With not having garbage on my spot. Oh, well, if you really don't want them, I suppose you could give them back. I will. Okay. Mountain Dew at night, Brave. It's Canadian Mountain Dew. It's like, it's it's pretty, it's pretty weak. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to, I, I'm, I'm not muted now, right? 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 Okay, good. Um, oh anyway, I, um, three fat readers. That's what I was going to say. Three Fat Readers, we just did a, um, a live stream. We do those once a month. So if you don't know, Three Fat Readers is a collaborative channel with myself, Danny of Danny Mystic, and Dustin, who is in chat right now, of Modern Metaphysic Man. And this last one we did was just this past Sunday. And it was called Hashtag Most Wanted Tarot. So we talked about our most wanted tarot decks at the moment. So yeah. Anyways, I should probably show you what I'm holding instead of just like taunting you with it. <laughs> would mind i don't think the yeah. internet wants to see me take my shirt off well maybe maybe the creepy part of the internet wants to see me take my shirt off okay we're okay well anyway that was a little bit <laughs> unexpected i don't know why i didn't think you'd do that to me when i anyway okay uh, yeah eric is like you'll find it more at bedtime okay i really want to show you this 
Oh, Practically Mystic, those have become some of my favorite streams. I love hearing the thoughts of three other readers simultaneously, especially considering your different preferences. I know, I'm like the major outlier in the group with my with my personal aesthetic versus like Danny and Dustin's more grown up aesthetic, but it's really fun to compare notes. Hello. <laughs> oh, Lucy. So anyway, this is what I have. Hi, Shayla, this isn't food. This is, this is, do you wanna see? My, my girl dog is up here like, what you got? I don't have anything, it's all done. What, 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 I don't, I don't have anything. I don't, but I don't have anything. She's like, paw, paw, paw. Go, go talk to her. Go see the other mom. Off you go. Okay, I swear I'm gonna show this. I'm sorry. All the distractions. Okay, so anyways. Oh, I wanna show the front before I show the words. So it is a really beautiful goddess pendant. Now usually, come on camera. You can do it, put it right in the center. We come on, come on. Oh my God, there we go. Look, it's so pretty. And then on the back, if it stays focused, it says, may the lady of the moon guide your way. This is really, really beautiful. Your team cute, Practically Mystic? That's awesome. That's awesome. You'll love all the stuff on my channel then. <laughs> I'm always showing the cute. Sometimes I like surprisingly grown up things, but I also really, really like the cute. Isis vibes. Yeah, this is beautiful. I need to take it off this chain. Um, this kind of chain, I can't wear unless it's like a really expensive high end sterling silver. I typically can't wear these, but um, I guess expensive doesn't matter. It's just the quality of the sterling silver, but those are usually expensive. It's nice that they include that, though, because um, for those people who aren't sensitive, they can wear it right away. Uh-oh, got to mute again. But I unmuted right away this time. Woohoo, go me. Hello, Emma. Emma Tara dude. What's neat about these, though, is that um, typically they are pewter. I will read about this in just a second. I'm going to put this one on um, or in this little trinket box so that it can charge up. Um, thank you, Caroline. Oh, you and your daughter both asked Santa for Field Guide to Garden Dragons? Oh, that's such a cute deck. You probably already saw that I worked with that one um, last week. I just loved it. Um, oh, that smells so good. Okay, so we're going to read about all the goodies. We're going to check out the artwork. I'm going to still find all the wormies underneath me and around me and behind me. Um, but I've gotten a couple of other pendants from the Witch's Roots box, and they are almost always, I think they've always been so far pewter. And pewter is, um, the pewter that they use is nickel free. I don't know if all pewter is nickel free or if just their pewter is nickel free. If anybody knows about pewter and wants to weigh in, please share. But I've specifically reached out to them and asked, and the pewter they, tip, they, they that they use is nickel free. So it should say um, that this is pewter in the paperwork, if that's what this is. Um, but pewter pennants and I have always gotten along really well. My skin does fine with them. Good night, Erica. I've shown all the things, so you won't miss anything now. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, so here is our artwork. Now, the artwork is usually a, a Book of Shadows quality, really beautiful piece about the herb. And since I already know the herb is passion flower, here is our artwork. I have to duck so I can make sure it's, like, focused. I'm really bad at this. There's glare. There we go. It gives you a general idea. You won't be able to read the text, but um, it, it has a sigil down here in the bottom corner. Um, up in the top here, there is native origin and other names. There's correspondences in like the top. Oh, I could take it out of its plastic. It wouldn't glare as much if I took it out of its plastic. Okay, that coughing fit is done. Yeah, there we go. This is less glary. There we go. So there's correspondences up here um, and magical properties down here. And there's like other, some other kind of writing. I don't know if this is just decorative or if this is actually a language on this side here, but it's all about passion flower. Um, it looks like the main correspondences are. Um, well, highly symbolic plant for Spanish missionaries in the New World. Passion flower was named to honor the suffering and crucifixion of the Christian Christ. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. 
Many tropical cultures worldwide utilize all parts of the plant as a magical charm to attract friendships and love. It's also used to promote restful sleep. Okay, let's shove some of, you know what? We're going to do this right now. We're going to do this right now on my channel because I need to sleep so bad, you guys. I'm going to take some of my passion flower right now. And it's 8.15. It's 8.15. Thank you're ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody who's leaving. <laughs> I'm going to put some passion flower in this. Remember how I was saying these make really good little dream pillows and sleep pillows and stuff or herbal pillows. I'm literally going to put some of this in this and I'm going to put some of this in my pillow tonight to help with my sleeping. Hi, Brian, love. So all I do when I'm putting herbs in these is I don't, they, they're usually pretty secure, but I don't want it flying open in the middle of the sheets. So I just, once I've tugged it closed, I will just give it a tie on that side. Brianne says hi to you too, dear. Oh, hi, Brianne. <laughs> She's not even like in the chat. She's like, screw you. Do your own thing. Anyways, I, it's okay. I tied it on this side and then I tied it again on the back so it's pretty secure and it's got the herb in there. Now, if I wanted to do the less lazy approach, I would also add a crystal in here and I'd probably use howlite, but I don't think I actually have a small piece of um, tumbled howlite that would work in something like this right now. So I'm just going to tuck this. It smells really good. I'm just going to tuck that um, in my pillow. And let's see, yep, peace, harmony, tranquility, and overall contentment with the self, within relationships, old or new, and within designated spaces. So that'll work really, really good as a little sleep pillow, I think. Um, practically mystic, does Peggy complain about the herb sachets? My husband has some sort of freak talent for finding them in his sleep and they drive him nuts. No, because you know what I, I do? I tuck it into my pillowcase so it doesn't tumble around the bed or anything. Um, you can also, another way to use these energetically is you can like, hang them like on your nightstand like if you get one of those little command hooks you can actually hang it right next to you on your nightstand so you have the energetic nearby um he's woken up with drawstrings around his fingers or wrists several times <laughs> yeah i would i tuck them into a pillowcase i tell you to leave your shit alone <laughs> <laughs> that's that what down? yeah that's what Peggy says yeah i have to have it like if you're sensitive like one way to get the energetic properties i don't know if this is still too close to your face um, but one thing you can do too is you can, you know how you have your pillowcase. I'm going to describe this real badly right now. So you have your pillowcase and you have your, this is your pillow and you have the top part of your pillowcase and the bottom part. I would tuck it into the bottom part. So it's under the pillow. Um, unless you're a pillow flipper, if you have a tendency to flip your pillow at night, then doing that doesn't work, but that's how I do it. Oh, there's shams. And he always gets his fingers in there. Well, tell him to keep his fingers out of your shams. That sounded really dirty. It sounds incredibly dirty. It does dirty. sound dirty, but, um, I can't sleep on pillow shams. And I'm, the opening to my pillowcase is always facing away from, excuse me. I think I just burped a little. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, I um, always have the opening of the pillowcases away from the center of the bed. Um, oh, if you already have command hooks next to your bed. Yeah, it's it's no different than making one of these little spell sachets and hanging them from your rear view mirror. Like you're still going to have the energy nearby and then they're secured. So there you go. Yeah, I should not make lives. I shouldn't make lives. I should not do live videos when I'm this loopy. So let's look at the paper. Let's look at the paper. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just came out of nowhere. I'm just going to have more. That's going to help, right? I'm in this weird phase where like I need to have a beverage going at all times, but I've been drinking so much tea. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Practically mystic. Hold on. I have to laugh, which means I have to cough. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. No, no, no. I have to share this. I switched to Shams because his wiggling fingers had the pillows half naked every morning. <laughs> Is that all he gets? Half okay, anyways, I'm just, I'm just saying. Moving along. I'm just going to. I'm going to read the paper now. Okay, so here's what it says. It's probably going to repeat a lot of the stuff from the artwork, so I'm not going to read all of it. But for Passion Flower, a very soothing and sedative-like herb. Oh, man. Hold on. I'm just going to, like, tuck that there for now. I need a sedative like you just would not believe. Um, it's a race. Oh, my gosh. You are cracking me up. Okay. Yeah, it said sedative-like. Um, the Passion Flower has many serene benefits that we have worked with over many years. Um, used in many herbal teas, of course, this wondrous herb is known for relaxing anxious thoughts and bringing emotions to a more grounded state. Originally classified as passiflora 
1745, passion flower now has an estimated 500 different species that are spread around the world. Um, upon the passion flower plant hangs berry-like fruits that were said to be cultivated by the Aztecs, Incas, and other South American native tribes. As stated, as stated within the artwork, um, I already read that part, so I can skip that. Um, passion flower has provides a softer addition to your aura, allowing you to be free from anger, anxiety, or other emotional stresses that may push others away. Um, as you use this herb, visualize every thought, touch, and emotion becoming softer as if effort is no longer needed. Also associated with Venus, passion flower brings the power to the sacred feminine into our surroundings and working spaces. Bury it. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's the passion flower, which is um, this, which I've already stolen some of and put it into a pillow, which is currently in my bra, just so that I can in start getting. Bra? Okay, then. It's a sedative, it says. Look, you it's you get sucking up. <laughs> I mean, if you decided it's a good chance you're just going to fall asleep. Just like, like right in the middle of the live. I hope you guys would wake me up, but you guys can't wake me up. Peggy would have to wake oh, me I'll up. I'll wake you up. She'd do it bad, too. She'd be mean about it. I'd have, like, cold have water ice. on me. Oh, my gosh. You hear? See, I said cold water. She's like, we have ice. Rude. Anyway. Oh. Oh. I thought the comments scrolled, but they didn't. It was just me. Okay. Sacred goddess ritual body. <laughs> That's, that cough snuck up on me. Sacred Goddess Ritual Body Oil with Dropper. Um, we have created this 20, sorry, two ounce magical elixir with the intention of bringing you closer to the divine feminine energy that is rooted all around us, as well as bringing soft, gentle, and vibrant energy to your aura. The Sacred Goddess Body Oil is a powerful formula to add strength and conviction to your perception as you set upon difficult tasks and experiences. As you use this oil, visualize a blanket of protection covering your energy providing you with the chance to be fearless in your endeavors. This has jasmine, patchouli, sandalwood, and does list some other things, and passion flower herb in it. Um, and then there's other mixtures in here. Ah, includes a special mixture of our The Lightest Touch Magical Oil is also in here. Wearing a sedative while drinking a caffeinated beverage. I mean, is that really any different than people who, like, drink Red Bull and and vodka together. That's like a downer and an upper at the same time, isn't it? What did Dustin say? I'm like, oh, now the comments are scrolling. It's a sedative in tea, dear. Well, it's a sedative in my bra right now, Dustin. <laughs> Tucking your boobs in for the night. <laughs> exactly. Does oh, yours oh, talk at night man. too? But I'm, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. The chat is like, I'm living for it tonight. Thanks guys. You guys are the best. Okay. The candle, um, they have called a royalty mini spell candle. We've hand rolled this spell candle with the intention of manifesting power, success, and guidance through your workings. The word royalty represents the energy the sacred goddess provides for us as we work towards connecting to the divine. This is a deserving energy that brings us closer to a positive and strong perception of self. Allow the flame from this royalty candle, candle to dance throughout your spirit. Meditate on your internal compass, giving yourself permission to let go of stagnant emotions. Connect with this very personal and sacred moment, for these are the building blocks of pure creation and manifestation. And the affirmation is, the goddess resonates deep within my spirit, bringing me closer to pure realization and enlightenment. <laughs> Dustin! Oh my god, I'm not going to read that out loud. That's bad. Oh my god, that mental image though. No. <laughs> Honey, you have to go look at the chat of my video right now. Your son's what? misbehaving. Oh, what's it done? I wasn't mean to. I'm sorry, I had to unmute. Um, anyway, what's next? Luna ritual incense sticks. Okay. I'm officially in love. These smell so dang good. Is it going to tell me what's in it? Probably not. Nope. Um, nope, it doesn't say. I don't know what the scent is. It's so good, though. It's Again, it's that, like if baby powder and like flowers and like it's got that sweet. 
<laughs> See, I told you he's being bad. <laughs> Shake and bake has a whole new visual for me now. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, I didn't read it out loud on purpose, babe. I just did. It's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I can't even. I'm going to start calming a little Oh. oh no, oh no. Okay. Next. <laughs> lady of the Moon pendant with chain. Aha. This beautiful pewter Lady of the Moon pendant carries with it the following inscription. May the Lady of the Moon guide your way. Take time to connect to the beautiful imagery of the Moon Goddess. Let's bring it up so you can see it. Come on, camera. In front of my face. I gotta, I've got to hold it properly. That's part of my problem. There we go. Come on. If I assault the camera with it. Hello. Camera. Yo. Oh, my gosh. Nope, it's not going to do it this time. Welp. You get the idea from back here, right? Okay. Um, it says, take time to connect to the beautiful imagery of the moon goddess placed on the front of this pendant. Wear it to bring the energy of the goddess with you on your daily journey and use for ritual purpose. The back says, may the lady of the moon guide your, guide your way. Um, and then, of course, we have our natural purple shell box. So freaking beautiful. We are thrilled to be able to include a natural purple shell box within this collection. Holding the energy of beauty within its structure, the shell box is a wonderful addition to a beauty altar. Place stones, tinctures, or jewelry within this box to charge them with feminine energy and to instill prosperous and abundant intentions. Oh my gosh, what did I miss? Oh my God. Oh, Caroline. <laughs> you know, when you do that with a candle, okay, this is a great time. Don't mistake it for an incense stick. Yeah, so here's the thing. This just reminded me, and I'm going to try to keep it clean here for a sec. But if you take these <laughs> rolled beeswax candles and you roll them in herbs, which is wonderful, if you're a little too generous with the herbs, then when you light the wick of the candle and it starts to burn down, the herbs will catch fire and you'll have this giant flame coming out the top. So practice fire safety and don't light the tip if it's covered in herbs all the way around. Okay? Okay. Anyway, next we have the Lapidolite tumbled stone with pouch. So I was right. This is Lapidolite. I love this like flash of white running through it um, to aid in adding calming and serene energies to your surroundings. Oh, you know what? We can just tuck this right into my little herbal sachet and I can use them together. I'm just untying it so I can add the stone. Um, carry it with you to assist you in clearing and maintaining an enlightened awareness. Oh boy. If I used mint oil, it's about the same. <laughs> and Peggy's being bad too. Yeah. By the way, I'm not, I'm Peggy's here now. Yeah. Oh my God, practically missed it. Balls to the walls, now it's in cinnamon. So I've added my Lapidolite into my little dream. You're not even listening anymore. My little sleep pillow. I only have so much attention span. Yeah, oh, I can't read and like listen at the same time. What'd you say? No, Something bad? Said, guess that's more balls than the furnace. Oh my goodness. Okay. And lastly, the Passion Flower Herbal Grim Grimoire artwork. We've partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor Passion Flower. Add this to your Book of Shadows or place it on your altar for display. The artwork, by the way, you guys, on the Book of Shadows artwork is always by, I should hold that up upside right, um, <laughs> is not, I shouldn't say always, but is most of the time the artist is A. Alden. A. E. Alden. Um, yeah. So, also, yes. Yes, please, please be joking. Please be joking, Dustin. That's good. So that is what we got in the Witch's Roots box this month. Um, if you love this box, I have all the information down below for how you can check it out and subscribe. They do ship to the U.S., Canada, and international. And the Witch's Roots is their most affordable subscription box. <laughs> Caroline, Dustin, do you hear Lisa practice fire safety, safely? <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, this is a really good witch's roots box. I'm freaking loving the oil. 
smells really, really, really good. I wish I could accurately describe it, but it smells very similar actually to the incense. And I know they're totally different, but it does smell kind of similar. It's got that soft, um, gentle energy to it. Oh boy. That, well, the chat's gone right to the toilet. <laughs> We're just in the toilet now. That's where we are. We're in the toilet. Hi, sacred key. No, more the gutter. The gutter. Gutter, the toilet. You know, same, same. I'm going to just put everything in this little box and see if I can like hold it up and show it to you guys all pretty like oh well part of it's in my bra but you'll get the idea um we'll just tuck everything in here oh look I can arrange it all pretty while you guys are being naughty in chat yeah sorry sacred keep you came in at just the right slash wrong time Let's see, can I just like tuck everything in here? I'm just like arranging it. I don't know why, it's just fun. You blame Peggy. This did come on a chain, by the way. This is like these chains. He, he cannot play, nah. He, he's just started before I showed up. This is why I showed up. It's true. It's true, it's true. Minty Fresh. Oh boy, you guys. Oh boy. Okay, there's something else. Oh yeah, there's this. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my crystal. Well, I'm just gonna toss the little pillow. So this is what we look like when I arrange it all nice and pretty like. Uh-oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, see, how do the YouTubers that do this do this properly? Let's see, and then I'll gently tip it. I can do it, I can do it. This is what we got this month, kinda. There you go. I can't really set them up. I guess if I wasn't trying to tip it, it would be fine. But yeah, I'm going to take this. It's got the Lapidolite in it and the Passion Flower. And I'm going to put this in my pillow for sleepy times. And hopefully have better sleepy times. And I'm also probably taking a melatonin because I am not messing around tonight. <laughs> I'm like, I really, I really need to get me some sleep. It's going to be good. I also like to save these little um, twines that come in the boxes. They always smell really good. They usually smell like the box. They use double-sided tape. That's a really good point. We summoned Peggy with our, oh, I forgot to put the incense when I held up the box all nice. I am literally a squirrel. I can't even finish the sentence. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. And I save this twine and use it in my magical, my magical things. When I do cord magic, when I tie up spells and scrolls and burn them, all that kind of stuff. I like to burn things. It's what I do um, in my cauldron safely, practicing accurate fire safety. If you want a tea blend with that passion flower, glide, glide me. I want a tea blend with that passion flower. Does that count? Will you, will you tell me what else to put in it? I actually think one of my sleepy time teas does use passion flower. The incense was called Luna. Lucy, it was just called Luna. It doesn't didn't say, oops, I got brought, brought my twine with me. It didn't say what was in it. I don't know why I'm showing it to you. Like, you know what incense looks like. But yeah, it was called Luna. And it smells kind of lightly floral. I did remember Brienne, but I, ha I didn't actually try it because I don't have any Vicks. I do have some um, uh, aromatherapy Vicks style stuff, though. Yeah, I have a, um, it's like a muscle rub, and it's it's got like menthol. It's got peppermint oil and eucalyptus and um, a few other things in it. So, yeah. That was my Witch's Roots box. That was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Dustin, I do want that tea recipe. I don't know if I have the other herbs, though. I wish we had smell -a vision I know I say it all the time. I'm probably going to bed within the hour. But, yeah, maybe I will try that with the Vicks. I don't know if that – will that help my throat? Oh, increases mucus production. Oh. For productive coughing. Oh, so should I put – should I use some of that muscle rub? Maybe. It's got the same kind of stuff in it. Doesn't work, you just wash it off. True that. Traditional med medicinal nighttime tea has passion flower. That makes sense, actually. I'm ready to sedate her with a small sledgehammer. <laughs> she needs a nice long nap. God, that got dark. Oh my god. I think Peggy might be tired of me coughing at night as well. I'm just I'm guessing. Hammer therapy. Um the hammer is supposed to be my thing, hun. The sledgehammer, the bricks, remember? So you don't leave me. The weird things oh I say God. on my channel. <sighs> hey, by the way, 
don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I don't know if I'd recommend sharing this specific one with all of your friends, but then again, um, I do um, typically unbox the Witch's Roots and the Witch's Bounty Box every single month. Um, so if you like watching these, um, I usually will do the Bounty. Lately, I've been doing the Bounty Box live. Um, and the Roots Box, I typically pre-record and like put it up on my channel properly. But because I've been fighting this cough, I decided to do it live so it could be a little bit more casual and I could still unbox it. Um, misery is her hero. Oh my God. It makes it feel better when in use, but prolongs mucus production. There's a bunch of recent research on it. I started making my chest rubs without any sort of menthol. Ah, there we go. Here's my recipe. Three parts chamomile. I have chamomile. Two parts mint. I have mint. Two parts lemon balm. I don't think I have any lemon balm. One part lavender and one part catnip. And one part passion flower or valerian. I have both valerian and passion flower. I have lavender. I don't have catnip and I don't have lemon balm. I don't think. Actually, I may have some lemon balm. We can send her into the gully for the catnip. Off you go. <laughs> what? Bite me. <laughs> Will it help you sleep if I do? No. Oh, you're a big whiner pants. No. Oh my god. Add some hops. Aren't hops for beer? So we put beer and gully leavings. <laughs> you're just. Bunch of other stuff. I actually have. Oh, actually, I have. Hold on. Hold on, honey. Can you help? Can you help me? So, because I'm buried. Will you grab my sleepy tea, the purple one? In the if you open it up, the serenity oh, I one. See what's in it. There's a serenity one, and then I think I yeah, the serenity yeah, one. Yeah, distract with the tea. Wacky with the sledgehammer. Night night. I want to see it, and I bet if I had honey, it'll help my throat too. Serenity. Yeah, and I can probably just use that as a base, and then yeah. So basically, a warm drink before going to bed. Okay, so this one has cinnamon, chamomile, and lavender in it. This is one of my favorite sleepy time teas. That's that one. If I take this and I add some passion flower to it. I don't have a P.O. box, but I will send my address if you want to send me some lemon balm. But just email me at tarotwithlisa at gmail.com. Um, the nighttime tea you have has hops in it as well. What happens if I put in too much passion flower, Dustin? Sexy times. Passion, you know. No, it's a sleepy no. herb. <laughs> Peggy wants to know if it's a sexy herb. No, it's a sleepy herb. Um. This doesn't have mint. Okay, so if I take this and I add some buttermint tea, so I've got one of the bags, one of the buttermints, and then I add passion flower and lavender. No, lavender's already here. So if I add lemon balm and passion flower to a bag of this and a bag of my peppermint tea, then I'm good. <laughs> it will knock you out. I need to be knocked out. That sounds amazing. Um, the box actually says not to operate equipment if you drink it. Seriously? That's some potent stuff, hey? I use Republic of Teas, get some Z's. Not sure if it helps, but it tastes good. Helps you sleep and breathe. I'm actually breathing. Okay, my voice sounds like I'm not breathing well. I've got a very tiny, tiny amount of, of stuffiness still, but most of it's gone. I can pretty much breathe through my nose and my, both my noses, both my... <laughs> Both your noses. Both my nostrils. I can Both breathe. Sides. Out of your nose. The yes. Nose is a hole. <laughs> I can breathe through my nose. Both sides. I think I might have some lemon balm. Yeah, I think I'm going to make myself a little tea cocktail tonight. That sounds actually really good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that as soon as I get off here. I'm going to take some of this. If this doesn't work, I'm getting a sledgehammer. Hey, do you still have that tea that, remember you were going to drink it and you didn't? The one that's behind your laptop? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, Let I me show might. it. I'll show it. But this one's got black tea in it, so I can't this drink it tonight. This funny because we thought, she came across it during the chat. Yeah, I got just this. Before the, just before yesterday. I either got chat. this from Ethany, who brought some of her extra goodies to share the last time we got together for a, a get together, or I got this in a Witch's Moon box, but it comes from the Witch's Moon, and it is Pythia. It's a tea blend that they did. It smells and now really we know good. What the Pythia is. And now I know what Pythia is because we were talking about. The Pythia of the Oracle at Delphi on Peggy's channel, Peggy's Paranormal Ponderings. Was it, was it, it Sunday. Was absolutely ironic that you found that when we did. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, this is still sealed. I haven't even opened yeah, it yeah, to smell it yet. You forgot to, you forgot to get it. But this, it. it says it's a jasmine tea, but it looks like that's got black tea in it to me. 
I think it's, yeah, I think it's black tea with jasmine. Um, yeah, I'm like legit gonna put some passion flower and some peppermint in a mug and add, add this. Yeah, it'll be probably really delicious too. How does it taste actually, Dustin, since you've used passion flower, what is the flavor like in tea? Cause sometimes I'll just use a straight herb as a tea. Um, yeah, this, these are nice. When, when the witch's moon does teas, they'll um, package them often like this and then they'll include a little muslin, um, tea bag. The best ever is ginger and honey. Ginger can be irritating to your throat. I thought though, I was drinking lemon ginger actually when I was sick, but a coworker told me today that ginger can be really, um, isn't good for inflammation. It like adds more inflammation or something. Yeah, that's what I think. It's probably black tea. So I'm not going to drink this tonight, but I do want to try it. I was going to sip on it during Peggy's live because it was so appropriate. So the box that Barb has says it's made with medicinal grade passion flower and hops. That's really exciting. I'm literally, I've got one of those um, David's Tea Nordic Tea Mugs and I'm going to put, so Dustin, you said about a quarter teaspoon of this. If I'm using a tea bag as part of, I'll show, well, yeah, I'll show you what the tea bags look like because there's not really a lot in here. This is one of those triangle shaped ones. So that's my tea bag. It's probably only got about a teaspoon of herbs in there to begin with. Yeah, so about a quarter teaspoon makes sense if it's supposed to be one fourth part passion flower. Everybody's like, what's in my tea now? Barb says it also says not to drink if you're pregnant. You gotta be careful with herbal teas, especially if you're if you're pregnant or if you have any kind of health conditions, you're taking medications, because herbs can be potent. So it's good to know like what what interacts with what yeah and i'll add a bunch of honey so whatever my concoction is tonight i think i'm going to use one bag of this one bag of my buttermint because that's got the vanilla in it and and i'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of passion flour and i'll let you guys know how it worked out um caroline says i have to sit on a three-legged chair when i drink it yes you do <laughs> But then when I, oh, on the Pythia tea? Yeah, I'll have to, you we'll know what? Sheet, we'll throw a sheet over her head and I'll write down everything she said. <laughs> you know you know what I should do? I should sip this. I, I should make tea with most of this, but I should use the rest as an incense and smoke it. Not smoke it, sorry, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a slip. I didn't mean smoke it. Uh -huh. I meant like burn yeah, it. Over bubbling water and a fault line. <laughs> <laughs> so I can I can light a charcoal disc on my hey. cauldron, put it on the ground, put a stool over it. She cannot rub her tummy and pat her head. I can so. Look. You're, you're doing this. You're like straight. You're like. I'm not. Look. Oh, now I'm just dropping my arm. <laughs> I gotta come up. Peggy's doing it. Do. I was doing oh, that. Like this. I, I was not. I was doing it right. It's on video. No. <laughs> Seconds, then you just started like kind of doing this. Oh, over <laughs> bubbling water on a fault line. If you guys have no idea what we're talking about, we are talking about the live chat that Peggy yeah, had on well, her let's channel. Get her, yeah, let's get Felicia completely whacked out. What's then? fire cider? Fire cider? You know what? Like, you know what I think of when you say that? I literally think of whiskey and apple cider or vinegar. Pie. pie. We can't have pie. That pie is for Christmas. Oh, no, that's why we bought two pies. Also for Christmas. There's five of us, two pies, <laughs> five people. <laughs> no. What is your next trick? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I'm so loopy. I need to go to bed. That's what I need to do. I need to make tea and I need to go to bed. But thank you for hanging out with me on this very polished live chat. <laughs> I'm going to suck down the rest of my Mountain Dew and then I'm going to make my sleepy tea. Oh, I'm sure, sure that'll be fine. And then try to counteract it. That'll go well. I'll just put an extra passion flower to over to overtake the. Uh -huh. Mountain Dew. Uh -huh. Oh no! Like legit, it was apple cider vinegar infused with horseradish, turmeric, garlic, onions, cayenne, and citrus. That sounds like it would kill you. Well, what does it? Or at least burn going down. Because like, it makes you stronger. And then blended with honey. You know what's really yummy is golden milk. I have a recipe in my traveler's notebook. It was turmeric and honey. And I forget all the other spices. So I'm not going to keep trying to, to help. Um, 
<laughs> oh no, keep guessing because this is where it gets fun with you. It's it is actually a traditional Indian recipe, keep, and keep I'm like doing it no justice. It gets sillier by the minute. It gets actually ridiculous. Yeah, me when I'm overtired. Usually, what happens when I'm overtired is that something triggers me, and I get a giggle fit, and then I start bawling. That's usually what happens. Um, tell us tomorrow what Lisa prophesizes to you. <laughs> well, I'm not going to drink the Pythia tea tonight because it's got caffeine. And I've already got my caffeine in my mouth, too. Sounds worse than Buckley's. It does sound worse. Golden milk sounds dirty. It's delicious, though. I think, if I remember correctly, it had cinnamon, honey, and it, I made it with coconut milk, I think. Or maybe with regular milk. I think I made it with regular milk. But you can also make it with coconut milk. Dirty, dirty milk. You're so weird. I got to go get a sheet. No, you don't. I'm not drinking the Pythia tea till later. You can put a sheet over my head when I drink the Pythia tea, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to put a sheet over your head when you drink your Pythia tea. Is this what you just agreed to? I have, no, I didn't. I don't know. Yes, you did. You. I've had that when I made my Pythia tea. And the honey makes this. Well, yeah, honey and spicy, yeah. Makes a delicious salad dressing. Hmm. Peggy's trying to make me get giggly so that I'll cry. Yeah, Molly, that sounds like me. If I take Benadryl, I get slap, happy, punch, drunk, giggly. Then I cry. Then I pass out. I have so many feels about that because that is exactly what I do oh, yeah, when I'm overtired. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's true. And I got like three hours of sleep last night. Well, I guess technically four. And yet here you are chugging back the caffeine because this is going to be. But I'm going to take extra passion flour to cancel it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I should wrap this up because I'm no longer making any sense and not being very productive either. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take a serenity tea bag. I'm going to take a buttermint tea bag and I'm going to put in a hefty dose of passion flour and I'm going to put some honey in that and then I'm going to drink that and then I'm going to go to bed. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I get with alcoholic drinks too. Although usually if I have too much alcohol, I will get very sappy and mushy. I'm one of those. I'm one of those. So I have to watch it with the with the alcohol. And I get giggly and I get tired. Are you giggly? Not right now. You're gonna be I, first I, get I, extra messed up with caffeine and then drink relaxing tea for that lovely crash. You can't wait for the crash. That's your favorite part. No, no I just can't wait for you to have a cup of tea, relax, because the minute you relax, you're gonna go, okay, I'm relaxed. <laughs> okay, I'm look, you else. don't need to yeah. mimic the snoring. That is absolutely unnecessary. Bad. Okay, I should wrap this up. I really should. I keep saying it and I'm not doing it. But I should. I should I should get ready to go to bed now. Have a very, very wonderful holiday, everybody. We are doing our big family celebration tomorrow. Um, so I may end up being up to filming videos by Christmas Day. I hope so. That'd be nice because I have the day off work. Help me oh save God, me from the snowing. <laughs> Did you frown? I didn't see it. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. I am feeling mostly better. Just still coughing and not sleeping. But I'm at the tail end now. Yay! I'm on my third week now. So let's hope. Let's hope. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys all way later. Way later? I'll see you all later. Way later. And I hope you oh, have a great day and a great holiday. Now. Bye. Bye